Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well today. I know I am. So if this is your first time here, hi, my name is Ileana and I am on my debt-free journey trying to pay off over, I forgot how much I paid, <laughs> over $100,000 in car loans, student loans, and credit cards. And if you're a returning subscriber, hi, welcome back. I'm so glad you could join me. So this was a very strange week for me. Not only that, but for my poor credit card, for my poor, not credit card, debit card. Um, let's just say when I do my weekly check-in, there's going to be a lot of um, usage, which I'm not proud of at all, but it happened. So can't really change that now. So today's video is all about my paycheck too which I'm pretty excited about. I did get like three hours of overtime, so I got my paycheck's gonna be a little bit more than what we're used to. It's not in the 900s, it's in the 1000. Not a lot over, but better than nothing. So let me turn this around because I'm a lefty. All right, so I got my paycheck. And I got paid on the 17th. And I was expecting 950, but I actually got $1,025 and 30, 85 cents, which is a pretty good chunk of money to have left over. The other surprising thing was well, this one wasn't surprising, but I was surprised that I did get a paycheck in the mail. So if you guys saw my previous video, which I'll link somewhere in the eye in the sky, it was my September um, budget with me. Um, so I refinanced my car loan from CarMax to Capital One. So I obviously had to pay the CarMax, the $300.33 that was due because it was due at the beginning of September and I didn't start the refinancing process until like the last week or two of August. So obviously I still had to pay for that. Otherwise I'll be hit with a late fee and all that. So I paid that and then my new bill, which you'll see here is due on the 25th of the month. So I obviously had to pay twice for my car. <laughs> I know. I don't even know why I'm laughing, but so I had to pay twice for my car. So I was hoping, I mean, I, nobody told me if I was going to get money back after they closed out my CarMax loan, but I did notice that the balance that was on my CarMax was like a couple hundred dollars less than what I was refinancing it for. So I was not sure though. I wasn't sure if they were gonna send me a check or if they were gonna tell Capital One so that they can fix it. I wasn't sure what's gonna happen, but they did send me a check, CarMax, for the difference on my balance. I don't remember what day. I think it was like the 15th. No, it was it was the 15th, yeah, because I, I deposited it on the 16th. So the check came on the 15th. There was nothing expected, so. So I was able, I got $310.16 back from CarMax. which I was so excited about because I was gonna be really tight with this paycheck because of all like the rent and the car loan and pretty big chunk of money was gonna be taken out of my paycheck. But thanks to the CarMax, I, will be, I was able to take this 310 and I put it on my car loan. So instead of paying the 262, 
I put the whole thing in so that I can put all that towards the um, balance and pay it off as quick as I can. So the total here was 950 for expected. And for the actual, I actually got back 1,025.85 plus 310.16. So I got back $1,336 and a penny, which is a really great blessing. And here comes Oreo. He does not like to be left out of anything, I guess. So this is what I'm working with this month, this paycheck. And he's just wanting some loving because it's raining and storming and he's cat and scared. So he's so cute. He just loves to be scratched. He's just like distracting me too. <laughs> so 133601 is what I'm working with. And I guess I'm going to be scratching as well as writing. So, all right. So, let me get All right. So, for my bills and expenses, I budgeted $300. And I got 300 I did transfer 300 into my mom's account to pay for the mortgage. And he's trying to push his way through. <laughs> I can't. All right. Oh, oh, oh. He he wants me to continue. All right. This I guess this is gonna be the only way to get him. <laughs> it's like don't focus on that. Focus on me. <laughs> oh. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna have to scratch and write at the same time. So if I look, if I have some worse handwriting, bear with me. All right, so the next bill was Geico. <laughs> He's so cute. And I expected to pay 9802. And I actually did pay the 9802. He's not gonna let me go. All right, I'm scratching, I'm scratching. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so the next bill was Amazon. I budgeted $30. Okay, you're kind of in the way now, Kat. $30 and I actually spent $29. <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> Jesus does not want to have, he just wants all my attention. All right, so then we got to my first payment on my refinanced car. So that was Capital One and I expected to pay $263 for this month just because I was paying for CarMax as well, but things worked out and I got to put more money. So I put $310.16 towards my car loan. And I was debating on whether I should put it on one of my credit cards, but I think it, it would, it served better to go on my car loan just because I wanna pay that off quick too. So, <laughs> so cute. All right, the next bill <laughs> would be my Verizon. It's always due at the end of the month and I budgeted $74. And I was pleasantly surprised. Well, actually I was a little mad with my with Verizon because they keep charging me this $3.99 for SafeWire. And for the last, now counting this month, three months, I had them take off safe wi safe Wi-Fi that they keep charging me. And they said, it's been take removed. Somehow I keep getting charged for it though. So I'm getting a little irritated now. I never had this issue with Verizon before. 
but with that taken, I, otherwise I would have had to spend $78 and change. I now only pay, I'm only paying $71.98. Can I help you, sir? <laughs> All right. Then I had Quicksilver that I budgeted 25 and I paid 25. He's not very happy. He can hear the thunder. <laughs> All right. He's scared. I'm right here. I'm right here. Everyone loves you, Oreo. Everyone loves you. All right. Let me add this all up for you guys. So we have 300 plus 9802, 300 plus 9802, plus 30, plus 263, plus 74, plus 25, equals $790.02. Now this is what I would have paid paid if 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 if, if, uh, if I would have had not if my differences hadn't have come out like the Verizon and the Capital One. So the actual was three hundred plus ninety eight oh two plus twenty nine plus three ten sixteen plus seventy one. 98 plus 25 equals $834.16. Let me see. Have you guys, um, the paycheck to paycheck budget book from, from the budget mom came out this week for pre-order and I, like I was excited to get it, but then when I put it in my cart, I saw that I had to pay an extra $15 for just the paycheck book, paycheck to paycheck seven by nine book. And at $15 for shipping and handling. And the book is already $45. So, so far I have not gotten it yet. I'm on the fence. I'm gonna do some research and look for something else. But, I just don't understand why every, why I had to pay fifteen dollars. It's coming from Seattle, but I mean I've gotten cheaper shipping and handling from England before, so I don't understand why it's fifteen dollars. Especially if you're pre-ordering it, you would think it'd be a little bit cheaper, but I don't know. Yeah, so I'm probably gonna look for something else just because I don't. I can't forty-five dollars, yes, but fifteen dollars for shipping and handling. I don't know if I could justify that. Honestly, I don't think so. <sighs> I don't know. Let me know. Did you guys buy, did you guys pre-order the Paycheck to Paycheck book? Or did you guys think it was too much money? Or the shipping was a problem? I don't know. Let me know, guys. So we have cash and envelopes. We have groceries, which I budget 120 and I... I'm doing 120. Now for my groceries, I'm gonna do a grocery pickup because I just have such anxiety going into the grocery store. Especially if I have to wear a mask. I just, I can't. The gas, I've actually been doing 25. My gas officially is now at $3.09, which I know in California that's low, but here it's pretty high. And I did $25. And I'm no longer taking the gas money out just because I've been reaching the $25 threshold as well as I've been using my Get Upside app, app and I've been getting money back. So I'll leave the link down below if you wanna use that. Um, I, I really love it, surprisingly. And I can cash it out or for money or I can use it for gift cards. So if you guys want to use it, I will put my code in the description box as well as on the screen. <laughs> All right. So salt, 
I budgeted $25. I haven't gotten salt in a little bit. I still have a bag of salt in my car. So we'll see how much money I get to spend. So that is all for my cash envelopes, even though this these two are now like online, but I just consider them cash envelopes. So we got 50, 120, which comes out to be 170. And the actual is the same, so 170. And then we have miscellaneous, which I use for my savings and challenges. So savings, I budget 10. And for the challenges, I budgeted 100. And in actuality, it was 10 for the savings, which is my the, the savings that come out automatically from my paycheck. I'm trying to use that as like a buffer kind of account because it's only $10 a paycheck. And I'm also trying not to touch it. So if I get enough money, then I'll probably use it on debt repayment. But right now it's just being used as a buffer in case I'm short. Then the challenges, I actually decided to take out $188. I know, that's a lot. But I am going to be filming the, the sinking funds video next. But so you'll see what I'm going to be doing with this amount. So, but uh, I did some math before I did this video with you guys. So I should have enough to cover it. So it's 198. All right. So we're going to add this all up. All right. We'll subtract it. So I'm going to do the budget first. So we got 950 minus 790.02 minus 170 minus 110, which. <laughs> I would have been negative $120.02. That would have been really bad. I don't have enough in my buffer account to cover that. So I probably wouldn't have paid something, which would probably most likely be my car loan. And that would have been bad, especially since I just, especially since I just, got this loan, I probably would have shortened the salt amount, but that still wouldn't have been enough for $100. So let's see what my actual came out to be. So we have, so we have 1336.01 minus the 834.16 minus the 170 minus the 198. Yay, we're in the positive. Yeah, it's always good to be in the positive. Sorry. So we're positive $133.85. I love seeing that green. Green, green, green. Not the red. But, I mean, mind you, things can always change. This is just my bills and what I expect. I might go over my groceries. I might have to put in gas again. Who knows? But as of right now, I am in the positive $133.85, even with my challenges. So I'm really excited about that, guys. <sighs> Sorry. I just, I'm so happy that I'm, I'm improving on my paychecks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want to join my YouTube family, please subscribe. I would love it. And if you want to see more of me, I will hopefully, I can't even think today. Blah. So I'm so excited. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you want to join my YouTube family, please subscribe. I would love it. And don't forget, guys, to always budget on. I'll see you guys later. Bye.